the Joe Rogan experience. Have you ever seen anything? Um, you know, I know, I saw something once, and it was uh, it was right after nine eleven, and it was weird because I I'd seen this fireball kind of go through the sky like a day or two earlier. This was all during the no fly period of time, right after 9-11. But what I saw that was, I, I still don't know what the fuck it was, was, and it, it was, I was driving to my girlfriend from Akron to, she went to school at the time, uh, she was going to Oberlin, this really liberal school out in the middle of nowhere in Ohio, and I was driving out there, and it's on the way towards the F, FAA headquarters, is it like in a Lorraine or Elyria, Ohio? That's where they monitor all the flights for North America or for the United States. And um, anyway, I was driving out there and I saw this thing hovering over a house. And it was, you know, I, was, I took note because like no fly zone. It was like, right. and it, it looked like a helicopter or something like, because there's a light coming down, but but no other lights. And, uh, but it was like only 100 feet above this house in the middle of nowhere, right along the same stretch of road where I'd seen this fireball a couple of days earlier. And I was driving a stick shift Ford Escort and I, I, I put it in neutral and rolled down the windows as I got closer and there was like no sound coming from this thing and uh, my girlfriend had like one of those Nextel phones the early the early cell phone and she turned it on because like you should call someone like call the police or something this is insane and the minute like the screen turned on this thing just like took off it didn't go like thousands of miles an hour but it went really really fast it made no sound it just was like that's the only thing I've ever seen. But I still don't know what the fuck it was. Wow. But you see weird shit like in Ohio because there's Wright-Patterson Air Force Base there. Yeah. One time I was driving. <clears throat> we were on tour. I was driving us in the uh, right, like for the tree lines on the side of the road. And right, I'm just driving and a Harrier just like pops up. like You know, those planes that can kind mm-hmm. of just popped up like right maybe 100 yards from the road. But yeah, that's what that's where they apparently keep the uh, alien corpses, you know. Yeah, that's what they supposedly flew the wreckage from Roswell, New Mexico, to Wright Patterson Air Force Air Force Base. It's a good. It's a good place to keep it because I'm from Ohio and I've never actually been into Dayton, Ohio. So, <laughs> <laughs> just the outside of Dayton. If they do still have that there, that's really rude. You should <laughs> let people see that. Yeah. If you re- you guys really did find a fucking crashed ufo how about a little heads up it's rude it's rude that they've had it for so long and we've just been people go to their grave just what, guessing don't they say that like the uh the recovered apparently the recovered materials and stuff they in order to um not have to turn it over to the public they keep just giving it to private uh defense contractors really that's who holds the materials i think that's what that cool. well i would imagine if I was the government and I had a crashed UFO, that's why I bring it to the private defense contractors. I would They're already good at keeping secrets. They already know how to make your weapons. And they know how to do stuff that you don't know how to do. They're doing it for you. Like It's not like the fucking government themselves makes the missiles. There's no, they this, hire people to make the missiles. There's this massive building in Akron called the Air Dock. It was built in the late 20s um, so they could build blimps. Because they used to build all the blimps in Akron. It's incredible. Looks like Star Wars. I mean, it's fucking nuts. Because uh, it's right in the middle of a neighborhood. It rains. Whoa. It has its own atmosphere. It rains inside there. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. It's the most ominous looking structure. Um, it's so fucking long and big. It's like Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's so big. It's like right, you know, it's like you can see it from like the whole south side of the city. Um now they have like this crazy perimeter around it. It's Lockheed Martin, I think, controls it. I don't, and I like, what the fuck are they building in there? <laughs> but you can't get close to it. You can't get close at all. What they're building there is probably minor league stuff. The stuff they build out in the middle of nowhere. That's in the what I'm desert, saying. Carved like, into the mountain. That's the scary shit. That's what I'm saying. I think most of what people are seeing is a government aircraft. Oh, Either sure. a drone or something. That's I mean, why they won't even acknowledge the <clears throat> hypersonic missile. Like they just, they just announced that they were like discontinuing research on the hypersonic missile when clearly, clearly they they must have the you know it must be fully operational. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine they would tell us. 
Like, they don't have to. Yeah, That's no. one of the most incredible things about the way the government works yeah. is that the amount of money that they get. That was, that, that was the argument for the reason why this hasn't been disclosed. Like, the government doesn't want to come out and say well, it was the yeah. money allocation. Like, you, lie, you had to have lied to Congress about where the money was going. Well, someone was saying, like, it's like the opposite of brinkmanship. Like, there's, these, there's weapons that exist that if other countries knew they existed would just be such a fucking threat. That it, you know, it would cause a war. Just the idea that someone had something like that no other country had, you know, that you could wield that kind of weapon. So there's right. like these weapons that get invented that have to remain top secret because it would just upend the whole fucking power structure. 